and uh, for my uh, last trick the third game I'm going to show you today I switched to an account on the French server uh, Mond N aka world number one on uh, the west.fr and I will be playing the low level guy it's me level 88 and uh, I will show you what I choose and why and uh, let me get to the adventure gear which uh, is also the same gear uh, as my uh, fourth battle because reasons I am uh, level 88 I started uh, here recently and uh, uh, I'm not playing this uh, very often or uh, actively but uh, I did get some uh, early on gear for uh, adventures mostly so let me explain uh, the gear and then uh, I will explain uh, the gameplay as well and uh, my choices in terms of uh, skills over here yeah okay I have my boatswain my boatswain clothes which is the set with the most uh, attacking points it is unupgraded but still it counts uh, 12 uh, attack bonus from the set and another half one two three three and a half four and another four attack from uh, each uh, clothing piece individually that uh, amounts to a sorry to 16 attack and uh, this uh, weapon set uh, has decent damage especially for my level which is 88 I upgraded the George McJunkin rifle to level 2 I only have 3 strength and 3 mobility which means basically a little bit of health points and uh, some uh, chance to dodge but nothing else and uh, the Warren uh, right set which has uh, both attack and defense but uh, nothing out of the ordinary so uh, what I'm gonna do is explain uh, what I picked I picked uh, Inspire, Barrels and Snare the Inspire will buff my teammates and myself so they can shoot with this regular shot harder so here I start and I start buffing and then I move towards the bank. I could move here, but I'm not going to go that far into the line of sight of whoever goes for the saloon because, and this is what I call a pro gamer move, I can go only here and you will notice why in a bit. Because if I step only one step closer to the bank, I can still reach the bank next round. Let me do the tabs switch and I can buff them once more. You can see the area yeah it has effect on all this area and only then step on the bank and actually I will step last on the bank I will let them all do their actions and in the last second I have to be last because I don't want this guy to come closer and shoot at me I have to be last on the bank and first to move out of line of sight of this guy who is going to go for me but what he doesn't know is that I have my snare at the ready and the barrels which will be spawned to stop him from shooting at me this is what I'm gonna do now so first I move and he will come towards me because he sees I am weak of course and now I am snaring him hopefully and turning the corner so I can hide so basically this is the principle you see I, I never shot once I do my I allow my teammates to do the shooting I just make sure I secure the bank which I might not be in time to do see I didn't secure the bank because uh, this guy managed to approach and step on it but I gave my uh, teammates time to take over the mill and now I can wait for this guy to approach me let everybody do their jobs now I come here and shoot him so hopefully that will do some damage let's see mm, he didn't even approach me okay he sniped my other teammate who was coming to the bank hmm not cool okay I have to trust this guy he'll be able to shoot him 
and I can also step up and shoot just as he does. Alright, we are starting to lose the mill because this guy had to leave it, but we have a good chance of killing this guy. So let's see if my friend shoots again. Come on, come on, come on. Tire le poté, tire. Okay, I will have to shoot. Okay. Okay, we're still losing bank and that guy is... Okay, he killed me. So, yeah, that's the disadvantage of not having good gear. And uh, not having uh, competent teammates. Yeah? So, uh, it is what it is, we still have the mill and uh, we will be two against two on the bank but their main guy is low on health, so uh, that could help us. Okay, so we are abandoning the bank, okay, that's also a good strategy. Um, let me tell you one strategy. <coughs> this guy is their best shooter, we can see that uh, we look at the weapons, uh, the Andreas rifle is bad, crossbow, the unupgraded Lucy Lasso is decent, but nothing out of the ordinary, but the um, Phoebe Mosey uh, rifle, level 2, is the one that really hurts, and this guy has it, so basically my job is to make sure I get out of line of sight from him, <laughs> and... Uh, <coughs> we keep him out of the game as much as possible. How to keep him out of the game? Well, basically, we let him to stay as far as possible and with as little health points as possible without killing him. So, like that, he is always afraid of approaching and he will just stay there and shoot without line of sight, which is also good. Now, I will post my barrels and uh, approach Blairot over here but uh, just in the nick of time I let everybody else do their actions and then here I come and here I go and shoot him so I get out of line of sight from this guy once more what Billy should be doing now is uh, either come to the saloon or hide from uh, John, but uh, he won't because uh, he's not that uh, competent. Well, at least he could shoot, you know, but uh, yeah, he's not doing that either. <coughs> because as I said, he doesn't know much about the game. Alright, let me get out of the area and shoot too so that we may be able to knock him out he's got good attack but no defense, yeah I got him excellent and now I'll be out of the sight of this guy and this guy and uh, help this guy secure the saloon uh, they are leading but uh, not by a lot and me and Billy should be able to hold down these two guys from taking the mill. This guy is pretty weak. I should be shooting him some more. And in the meantime, this guy can safely take the saloon. Alright, so it's high time I do this again. I uh, move on the area and shoot, but only after everybody else does their actions, which they are not, because they are probably waiting for me to make my move, which is not that smart. And now I will exit the area this way, because I move first, you see, and uh, hopefully Billy will understand and move somewhere around here and shoot at this guy. <sighs> I shouldn't be counting on, the, on my teammates for doing the right thing, I can only count on my opponents to do the wrong thing. So basically they are not doing much. Alright, I am moving here and protecting myself from this guy with barrels. 
while uh, this guy should also help us at the mill. <coughs> Sorry. Billy will be shot by this guy from over here. Oh no, he decided to shoot at Zareth. This is interesting. This is a bold move, but he lost quite a lot of health points and he'll probably die next round. What I'm gonna do is stay here protected and shoot this guy. Seems like Billy moved. This is the movement of Billy, which was in between the rapid fire of Zaref and the regular fire of Zaref. Zaref asked him to allow him go first and second action and to cancel his movement, which Billy didn't do because he's such a noob. Alright, I have to keep shooting at this guy, nothing else to do for me. We are leading almost. Okay, now it's equal, but uh, on the French server people have a long history of not sharing with one another. Okay, now I have the first action, but I will cancel it and allow this guy to run and only then shoot at this guy. I didn't even check the fast weapon. Let's see. The fast. The fast. Yeah, it's a weak weapon. I should be shooting at him more often. <coughs> Doesn't matter if I miss or not, the main idea is that I shouldn't be fearing him. Okay, seems like we want to knock him out. Maybe Billy will successfully secure the mill. This inspiration is only available for one round. Oh, okay, I did take some damage. I should hurry now. Okay, I'm dead because everybody stated their actions before me and uh, Blero has time to step over here and shoot me, which he will because uh, he's nice like that. Let's see. Oh no, I survived. He didn't even do it. Okay, he did, but I moved just in the nick of time. Okay, so basically now I should put some barrels here and snare the guy. This should hopefully be enough. And give Zaref time to step on the bank and kill him. On the French server there is no uh, gentleman agreement to shoot to uh, defend to allow uh, sorry to allow the opposition to take the buildings once you won. Once you secured the win, there's no such thing. They hate each other to the maximum. Which is understandable, because uh, I've played for a while with these guys and I can see why. They are uh, either very arrogant or uh, very noobish. So, uh, whatever works, yeah? We're just gonna keep the mill and cancel their only building, because why not? So, by the end of this game, they won't even get to 28 points. See? Yeah, no sharing for them. We're not allowing them anything. And I keep making my moves first. Because why not? Because I can. So uh, in uh, two rounds this is over. And they may be in time to take the saloon if Blero also steps on it. And they will reach 28. So that's 200 veteran points for them. Yeah, they will. While we are actually winning. So uh, yeah, I don't even have to move anymore because uh, Mill is safe and this is the last round. So I will buff and shoot and see how this goes. I don't really care what happens with this character of mine. I I'm not playing it actively, but uh, here I am describing it. Okay, I passed out, not a problem, but we won. So yeah, let's just tell good game to people, ironically, of course because uh, that was uh, under no circumstance a good game but uh, obviously Billy has no clue you could have seen that judging by the weapon he used and uh, Defest is probably happy with the fact that he knocked me out ultimately whatever floats your boat mate and uh, I also knocked out on that uh, exit from the mill Yeah, I knocked out John Slaughter 
which is always a good thing to do. Remember kids, if you're playing on the west.french or France or whatever, FR, and you encounter John Slaughter, slaughter him. Nothing else matters. Just slaughter him. Because he has a serious attack power and he never cares about winning or losing an adventure. He just cares about knocking out other people because uh, as you can see there is a ranking there's an adventures ranking where I'm 74 it doesn't really matter I played 79 games and killed 30 people which for level 88 and my gear is uh, quite remarkable but the point is <clears throat> these two guys battle it out for number one most knockouts which is totally irrelevant in the big scheme of things because from adventures you want veteran points yeah these things and I have exactly 400 right now I'm gonna buy another casse du bouton and open it and basically it's the worst thing that I could find but uh, no biggie I will uh, keep buying more and open them until I find uh, these guys or uh, until I find the kind of mojo that I can trade for better stuff and uh, just because you are asking me nobody did but you know I'm anticipating this this is where Angus is on the map this is how he looks like this is the quest and you can trade your mojo for uh, these kind of tickets that give you 25% XP boost for the next 8 hours XP and uh, you can uh, also trade the stuff you can find at the traveling fair for uh, stuff like ratatouille with fish which is uh, the best farming buff there is the most uh, drop chance of all the buffs you can also trade some metals if uh, you have uh, multiple metals of one kind and you want to balance them out it's a good idea to visit this guy and uh, have some medals. For instance, I have one medal each or something. Medai. Or something like that. Yeah, uh, there's an there's an X and there there's a, that's not the correct E, but whatever. Let's just search like this. Okay, I have one each. Except for speed, I don't need speed. I'm not walking around much. So uh, I think that's about it. Alright, 